I'm rolling up the sleeves again. Why? Because we're talking about compound sentences. A compound sentence, the same as a compound inequality in this case, or we also can call it a conjunction. Why? Because we have here two inequalities connected by a conjunction. The conjunction in this case is the word and. What does that mean? We're going to go ahead and see how this looks on an actual graph. So let's solve both of our inequalities, or let's graph both of our inequalities. And remember, whenever we have just a less than or greater than sign, it's going to be an open circle. Whenever we have the less than or equal to, or the greater than or equal to, it's going to be a closed circle. Very important that we remember that. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph each one of our inequalities, and then we'll connect it by our conjunction. First one says, negative 3 is less than x. So first of all, we know it's an open circle at negative 3, and then we're saying that x is everything greater than negative 3. If I know my greater values, they're all going to be towards the right. Now, another way of doing this is always put your variable or your x on the left side. Meaning if I put my x on this side, I must now flip the inequality to face the x, and then I bring my negative 3 to the other side. And what does that do? It helps me know what way to shade. Meaning if I follow the way the arrow's pointing, the arrow's pointing that way, therefore I'm going to shade to the right. Okay, now notice I didn't keep going all the way, I just put my arrow there because I also now have another inequality and I'm going to want to see where they're both connecting at. So let's take a second now and do the second one. We know it's at 2 and it's an open circle at 2, so I put my open circle there and then since my variable is already on the left side, I can just follow the arrow and now the arrow tells me to go to the left. So the arrow is telling me to go this way. So where is the only place where they both overlap? I'm going to get rid of these arrows now, and I'm just going to connect those two circles. And in reality, I should have all of this shaded. Because that is the place where both of these inequalities together make sense. Again, we're talking about values that are greater than negative 3. So negative 1, negative 2, 0, 1, 2. But they also have to be smaller than 2. So what's smaller than 2? 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So these are the values that make this conjunction true. Because all these values are greater than negative 3 and smaller than 2. I know I talked about it a lot right now. I just wanted you guys to feel comfortable with it. Now we're going to really start to see it in more problems.